गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रन वेलकम टू क्लास इलेवेंथ बायोलॉजी वंस अगेन आई होप यू ऑल आर सेफ एंड स्टे होम चिल्ड्रन इन अ प्रीवियस वीडियो वी वर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट चैप्टर थ्री दैट इज प्लांट किंगडम एंड इन दिस चैप्टर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट एल गी दैट इज थेलोफाइटा ओके नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी विल कवर द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द चैप्टर That is bryophyta. Okay, bryophyta. We will discuss in this video. Okay, so children, do you know what is bryophytes and where it is found? Children, bryophytes is also a plant that is found in shaded, humid. and damp areas bryophytes are also called amphibians of plant kingdom because these plants can live in soil but are dependent on water for sexual reproduction okay so bryophytes that is amphibians why amphibians because they depend on water for sexual reproduction they can grow in soil but for sexual reproduction they depend on water so that's why we are saying it is a uh, amphibian of the plant kingdom okay and habitat habitat of the bryophytes are damp areas humid localities and shaded areas okay children these bryophyllum play a very important role in plant succession on bare rocks okay see so today we will cover the bryophytes see about bryophytes you can see on your screen bryophytes they live in moist shaded areas in the hill it is known as amphibians of the plant kingdom why it is amphibians of the plant kingdom because amphibians can spend a part of their life in water as well as on soil so the bryophytes grow in soil but for sexual reproduction they completely depend on water okay next that is habitat they are found in damp soil humid and shaded places okay the plant body lacks true root stem leaves and they are attached to substratum by unicellular and multicellular rhizoids okay so we can say that the bryophytes do not have a true roots true stem and true leaves means we cannot differentiate between root stem and leaves in the bryophytes okay the main plant body in bryophytes is haploid haploid that is n okay so the main plant body that is haploid and they produce gamete and it is gametophyte okay so gametophyte that is a main plant body in bryophytes and it is dominant phase in uh, the male sex organ in bryophytes is anthridium okay that release the anthrozoids okay the sex organ that is anthridium and they release anthrozoids the female sex organ is archegonium and they release a single egg the anthrozoid from from anthridium and egg from archi uh, archegonium they fuse together and they fertilized to form zygote 
okay see anthrozoid that is a male gamete that are released in water come contact with archegonium to form zygote okay zygote develops into sporophyte a diploid phase undergo meiosis to form haploid spores germinate to form gametophyte men's children in gametophyte the anthri anthridium male gamete and the arch archegonium female gamete they fuse together they form zygote and the zygote develops into sporophyte means gametophyte convert into the sporophyte and in sporophyte meiosis occur this meiosis form four haploid spores again to produce gametophyte okay clear now you can see the life cycle of the bryophytes on your screen see here children it is male gametophyte and it is female gametophyte okay the male gametophyte form the anthridium they contain the sperm that is anthrozoids okay and the female gamete they form the egg so the anthrozoid from anthridium they come in contact with egg through a medium that is water water be a medium for transportation of sperms to the egg when sperms and egg come in contact with each other so this process is called fertilization okay this process is called fertilization in this process zygote is formed okay so the gametophyte that is n so when it fertilize together they form zygote that is 2n okay now zygote further develop into an embryo okay children clear now this embryo again form the gametophyte okay gametophyte means the new plant can grow okay so from gametophyte from male and female gametophyte children uh, the egg and sperm release they come in contact they form zygote zygote develops into an embryo and embryo form gametophyte then this gametophyte generate the sporophyte okay always remember one thing the gametophyte is downside and the sporophyte is upside okay so the sporophytes lies on the gametophyte okay so here the gametophyte then convert into the sporophyte that have to n and in sporophytes the spores are there these spores are divide by the process of meiosis meiosis cell division occur and these spores form the four haploid spores by the process of meiosis okay the spores are made from the sporophyte and these spores are again convert into the male and female gametophyte okay so this is the life cycle of the bryophytes now children some economic importance of bryophytes we will discuss here because in exam may be asked what is the economic importance of the bryophytes so see here first bryophytes provide food for herbaceous okay those organism that feed on the grass or grass like product okay that is herbaceous mammals birds also so bryophytes are the food of these mammals and birds next number 2 is sphagnum species such as mosses provide peat 
children peat is a kind of substance that used as fuel okay so peat that is produced from mosses and which are used for fuel okay next number 3 due to its water holding capacity it is used as packing material for transshipment of living materials okay the bryophytes they have a very good water holding capacity they can hold much water due to that they are used as packing material okay for many substances okay children clear the mosses and lichens form pioneer community on the bare rocks okay that is also one advantage of the bryophytes and one more important thing that is it can also hold the upper layer of soil okay to prevent from flood okay that is soil erosion so soil erosion is another main function of the bryophytes in which the uppermost layer of soil prevented by the bryophytes to reduced okay so these are some economic importance of the bryophytes that i have show in front of you that is very important regarding your exam now next children the classes of bryophytes bryophytes are divided into liverworts and mosses the two class of the bryophytes first you can see there liverworts okay the liverworts grow usually in moist soil okay shady habitat and it is moist shady habitat it is found in damp soil that is also found on the bark of tree and deep in the woods okay so habitats of the liverworts you can see there moist soil shady habitat damp soil bark of trees and deep in woods these are some habitat of the liverworts the plant body is thalloid thalloid means it the plant body cannot be differentiate okay into stem root and leaves we cannot differentiate so, okay so that's why we are saying the plant body is thalloid a thallus structure is found there so the plant body is thalloid okay asexual reproduction takes place in liverworts by fragmentation okay in this they detach from parent body and form a new individual okay fragmentation next sexual reproduction sexual reproduction that is form male and female sex organ sporophyte is differentiated into food setae and capsule so the gametophyte turns into the sporophytes and the sporophyte is differentiated they form food setae and capsule the three structure that you can see in the plant body of the sporophyte next that is spore germinates to form gametophyte as we discussed in the life cycle of the bryophytes the spores that are germinate to form the gametophyte male and female gametophyte okay example of the liverworts that is marchantia okay marchantia is a kind of plant okay children next that is mosses the next class of the bryophytes in which the gametophyte show 
टू स्टेजेस नंबर वन प्रोटीनिमा नंबर टू लिफ स्टेज दैट इज सेकेंडरी प्रोटीनिमा ओके आई रिपीट वंस अगेन द गैमेटोफाइट हैव द टू स्टेजेस नंबर वन protonema that is spores and number 2 that is secondary protonema this is leafy stage okay so uh, maybe ask in exam ki name the green branch creeping and filamentous stage of the mosses so it is protonema okay protonema that is a green branched creeping and filamentous stage okay secondary protonema that is a leafy stage in which uh, sex organ are there the gametes are form male and female gametes and they form the zygote okay so the two stages in the mosses number 1 protonema number 2 that is secondary protonema okay next that is it attached to soil by rhizoids it have rhizoids so by the use of that they can attach to the soil okay vegetative reproduction is takes place by fragmentation and budding okay budding that is as a small outgrowth takes place on the parent body and after some time it detaches from the parent body and develops into a new individual okay so this is the vegetative reproduction next sexual reproduction is takes place by anthridia and archegonia anthridia is the male gamete and archegonia that is a female gamete okay when they fuse together they form zygote that develops into sporophyte and form capsule and it contain spores okay clear example of the mosses is sphagnum and funeria okay children i hope you have learned properly so that's all in this video stay healthy stay safe and stay home and keep watching the videos okay thank you